Why are you clapping? I don't know. I'm getting ready. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Ready, right. go. Chicken stew today, y'all. Are you from the South? <laughs> no, but you know, I think um, some of the things that kind of stuck with us from living in the States was y'all. I got dude. Okay, salting my chicken. I've got eight thighs and pepper as well. I've already heated up my pressure cooker on saute mode on high. And I've added one tablespoon of vegetable oil into the pot. And I'm gonna add my chicken. We're gonna brown, um, brown, brown the chicken, skin side down, okay? Gonna do four at a time. Look at those chopsticks, Joe. <laughs> I like I like cooking with chopsticks. I'm also gonna salt the other side because otherwise I'm gonna forget. And pepper. Just a few minutes on each side, maybe three minutes. And I'm going to chop up my vegetables. Did I say what we were making? We're making chicken stew. Especially with the weather getting colder. So we're just going to chop up the onion. Got two onions, two celery stalks, and four little carrots. I can't remember where I learned this, but if you leave the bottom part of your onion intact and you just cut up to that point, it'll just keep everything together. So it's easier to chop. Taking them over. Some people ask me how the chicken, if it sticks at the bottom. So your pot has to, pretty much, your pot has to be hot enough. Then you add your oil, and then you add your food, and then it won't stick. That's the same for cooking on the stove top. Just whatever pan or pot you're using to brown, um, you have to make sure that it's hot enough before you add your food. Otherwise, food will stick. Okay, I'm going to slice up my celery. I'm just going to cut them down the middle. Alright, then carrots. I want to cut everything around the same size so that, so that they cook you uh, what's the word? Consistently? Yeah. Equally? Equally? The thicker portions, I'll cut them a little bit smaller. Not smaller, but again, just equal. Equal size. Equal size. Even cooking. Oh, look at that thumb. I know, I know. Dangerously close. <laughs> I'll take these out. So they're not fully cooked, they're just browned on both sides. Oil around a little bit and put in the next batch. All right, I poured out all the chicken fat and I'm going to change the saute mode cancel to just normal saute. I'm adding about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to saute my vegetables in that. And I forgot to bring a wooden spoon. Cut. Okay. 
adding all the vegetables in. I'm going to cook this for about three to five minutes until the vegetables are a bit softened. All right, I actually put back about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of chicken fat <laughs> that I had rendered earlier because I'd forgotten I was using flour to thicken, so I want some of that fat in there. And if you don't want it, you can just use oil instead or use more butter, it's up to you. So all together I have about three to four tablespoons of fat, whether it's butter, oil, and then salt and pepper your vegetables. These are almost done. Another minute. I'm adding two tablespoons of flour. And we're gonna cook that for about a minute. So I want to add four cups of broth, but I only have two cups left in here, I think. Oops, and you just want to scrape the bottom of the pot, make sure all the bits are scraped up, because that's where all the flavor is. another cup of water. And the chicken is going to release juices too. So I'm going to put in our sprig of thyme. It's a pretty large sprig. You don't have to use such a big sprig if you don't like it. You don't have to use it at all if you don't like it actually. And I'm going to add my chicken back in right on top. Now people ask me why I keep the skin on. Well, the skin is where there's a lot of flavor, and so that's why I keep the skin on. Bones also add a lot of flavor. So we're gonna cook this for eight minutes. I'm gonna pour the rest of the juices back in there as well. And you can take the skin easily off. Yeah, you can remove the skin if you like. I'm gonna leave it on for now. Okay, cancel the saute mode, and Put the lid on. All right, let me put this on properly. Okay, locking the lid into place, making sure your sealing knob is on sealing. And I'm going to manual high pressure and bring it down to eight minutes. All right, that's it. We'll be back. All right, it's ready. It took about 15, 20 minutes to come to pressure and then there was the eight minute cook time and now I'm just gonna quick release and hope for the best. Ready? Yep. Oh, hope for the best. Let me stand back. <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn on saute mode. And we're gonna add some cream to it have one and a half cups of whipping cream. And you can choose to just take the chicken off the bones if you want, or you can just serve it with a piece of chicken each. And they can just, or they can eat it as they like. It's up to you, I'm gonna leave them. All right, I'm finding it very, very thin and I want it to be much thicker. Although, if I had added too much like if it was too thick to begin with, I think it would have a uh, tough time coming to pressure. So anyways, I made a little roux with um, two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour, and I'm gonna add that in and hope that it doesn't clump to thicken. I didn't want to use the cornstarch, so I want the richness of butter and flour. Who doesn't want the richness of <laughs> butter? Probably not the right thing to do, but anyways. Or you can decrease the amount of liquid added because I think the chicken actually released a lot of liquid. 
Okay, we just want to make sure that the flour is cooked through in here. So it's been a couple of minutes. I'm going to add my cream. And I think I'm just going to use one cup, not a cup and a half. My lactose intolerant belly thanks you. <laughs> okay, we're just going to heat that up. And it's time for... Hey. Such a clown. The taste. Yeah, this weather really cries out for warm dishes. The chicken. I'm wondering if uh, when it's browned on the Le Creuset, it gives it more flavor. Just wondering, like versus the pressure cooker. What do you think? I don't know. If I'd made it in the Le Creuset, I would have cooked it for much longer. Mm. So yeah, the, you have a time advantage using the pressure cooker. Mm hmm Oh, mm hot. -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Chicken is tender. And thank you for browning it because it does come through that extra layer of flavor as opposed to just dumping everything into the pot. Mm -hmm. I think it does make a difference. Of course, you season it while you have, after you've, or while you're browning the meat and uh, sauteing the vegetables. I think it all adds up to an overall flavor. Profile. Oh, no, you know what I forgot to add to it? Peas. I'll probably add more pepper to mm -hmm. taste mm -hmm. for dinner and uh, served on a bed of rice because I love gravy and rice. That's one of my things. All right, then we'll have rice for dinner. Mm. Or you can serve it with mashed potatoes. I think that would be really yummy too. Mm. All good. Thumbs up. All right. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so the peas. I'm sorry, I forgot the peas. Add them at the end actually, because you don't want to pressure cook the peas. Um, I just used frozen sweetlets and uh, yeah, you just need to heat those through. So when you're adding your whipping cream, after that heats through, just throw in the peas and heat that. Heat that up as well or vice versa. There's really no better way. Absolute. I don't know. There's no absolute way that needs to be done. Everything can be adjusted. Um, well, usually. <laughs> so, I know this video was kind of confusing. Uh, hopefully, we can fix it post. What is it called? In post. In post. <laughs> and then we'll get you the right instructions for this video. In the meantime, please find me on Facebook and Instagram and come support me on Patreon. Uh, thank you so much, Patreon members and team members, for your support and encouragement and uh, keeping this channel going. You guys rock. So till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful. See that look? It's the look <laughs> of this thing that happened, BTS, <laughs> behind the scenes, that I can't really prove now. Always blaming me for stuff that I had nothing to do with. <laughs>